What's the name of what we're cooking this morning? We're making flakes pudi. Okay. And we have a um, crispy chicken and um, cocoa sauce. Okay. Alongside with um, chips. Okay, crispy chicken, cocoa sauce with chips. Yeah. Okay, so I think we should go over the ingredients so people have a little perspective of what exactly you're talking about. Okay, for the yeah. pudi, flix pudi, yeah. or, or, or making use of um, a Kellogg's um, cornflakes. Okay, Kellogg's cornflakes. Yes. So what have you done to the cornflakes here? I actually blend the cornflakes. Yeah. Uh, in the blender, in dry. The blender you blended dry. It dry. I blended it dry. Okay, all right. Then I have my milk. Okay. This is full cream milk. Full cream milk. All right. And also my eggs in here. All right. For the pudding. What you just need to do is to break your eggs and your milk all together. Then okay. you whisk it for a very long time until it becomes um, fluffy a little bit. Then the next thing that goes in is actually your Kellogg's. Conflicts. So it's amazing that you know you've blended it all the way down. Yes. Um, but did it take long to get this consistency, or mm. how long did it take? No, it just took two minutes. Okay. And took you just two blended minutes. it down. I just blended it down. Okay. All the way. All right. Let's keep, go back to the ingredients, though. We've not. We're not done with the ingredients. Uh, I can see chips here. Uh, there's also uh, garlic, ginger. ginger. Spring onions, okay. tomatoes. Okay. We have a soft chicken. Okay. I'm is this boneless? It's bon it's, it is actually soft chicken. I'm okay. frying everything together. Okay. And what I'm doing with this, that is really, really amazing, mm. my crispy chicken, I do, I'm not using breadcrumbs right now. Okay. I'm using the Kellogg's. Oh, the cornflakes? Yes. Okay. I'm using the Kellogg's cornflakes, you know, to. I've already marinated my. Um, chicken. chicken, so mm -hmm. I just spread Kellogg's cornflakes a little bit on it. Okay. And All right, let me see if we can go over the ingredients one more time. Um, we have the cornflakes, we have in here baking powder, we have chicken, chips, ginger, garlic, turmeric, cinnamon, cocoa pops, uh, eggs, and milk. That's what we have here. And uh, of course, there's salt and, and pepper here as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at the way this is looking. This is becoming like a, close to a paste, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so um, we didn't forget something. Okay, I think we forgot vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is part of this as well, of yes. course. The vegetable because that's oil how you're frying, frying the chicken. Yes, yes it's for frying the chicken. So, so the marinade for the chicken um, in here, I can see uh, what's left. What's in here? I actually have my own, every, everyone have their recipe when it comes to marinating. So this is my secret. All right. We just took the chicken out of the oil, out of the hot oil. And uh, if you're just tuning in, we're making crispy chicken with what? Crispy chicken and what? Say it again. Cocoa and sauce. Cocoa sauce. And um, chips. And chips, okay. So there was something different about uh, how you crisped the chicken this morning. <laughs> Can you tell us what was different about that? Okay, um, normally when you want to do your crispy chicken, a lot of people use um, breadcrumbs. Yes. But, but this time around, I actually use the Kellogg's cornflakes. So you use this? Yes. Okay. So I'm, out, I'm also using the Kellogg's and the Kellogg's Cocoa Pops for my sauce that we're going to use for the chips. Okay. I have my um, Cocoa Pops blended. Okay. Then I have my milk. Okay. So this is full cream milk? Yes. How many spoons of milk Just are we adding? Just a spoon. Okay. Added to what that looks like, a quarter cup of water? Yes. Okay, what's this? This is... Um, what's this? Honey? Honey, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's honey. All right then. You know, so I'll this just, is, I'll um, add a little honey to it. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So what's next? My honey. Just little honey goes in it. Hmm. All right. So what sort of consistency are you trying to achieve here? I want something light. Not too Something thick. Something light. Not Sorry, that was, the joke was just there. Sorry, <laughs> I just had to take it. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, the chips, of course, 
Uh, these are potato chips. Yes. Did you add any kind of spice to them before frying? No? I, I I use um, the Kellogg's also. Oh, okay. Yeah, I use the Kellogg's good. then. You know, when you're, you're, when you're using the already made chips, mm -hmm. you know it's already processed. Yeah. Then this very one that I did now, I actually use the Kellogg's okay. you know, to make it also look crispy also. And this is our sauce. And we're pouring this sauce where? In my bowl. Ha. Hey, okay. So uh, meanwhile, uh, there was a mixture that we made earlier with some um, blended uh, cornflakes. Cornflakes. No. I, I added uh, my, my egg, egg first. Mm -hmm. You wix your egg. Okay. Then the next thing that goes in is your milk. Okay. And after your milk, don't forget, it's ideal for you to blend mm. yeah. your... Mm. Your conflict, your conflict down. down. Then I had a just little cinnamon okay. to it for me to have it a nice paste. Uh, yeah, then okay. that is after that straight to the oven. So uh, we've already put it in the oven. We put it there about three minutes ago. So how long is it going to stay in the oven? Let's say in like 20 minutes. Okay. Should be ready. All right then. And what is that called? Is it like a Okay, it's a puddy, flex puddy. Okay. All right, so the sauce is ready. The sauce the is chicken ready. The is ready. The, the chips. The chips are ready. Almost done. Almost done. Yeah. So I can see you've chopped some spring onions here. And little tomato. Okay. I'm actually using it, you know, to spice up. Later my, on. Yes. All right, and there you have it.